Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm afraid I've got a bit of negativity for you. I'm doing a review on the Eyes, Lips and Face ELF 32 piece eyeshadow palette in the Everyday Basics and I do not like it. I've tried really, really, really hard to like this palette. I've really made an effort with it. I actually looked it up on YouTube to see if anybody else is having this problem and it's really hard to find videos specifically on this palette because um, when you search the palette name, YouTube keeps thinking that you want to see people's everyday looks using e.l.f. products so or e.l.f. palettes and there's more than one 32 piece eyeshadow palette and um, a lot of people just put 32 piece e.l.f. palette when they're doing the videos and actually there's quite a few of them so this one's the Everyday Basics um, and it's really really rubbish <laughs> I mean I love e.l.f. I do really like e.l.f. Um, I, I really had a lot of e.l.f. products in my May favourites which I'll link in the description bar but this product is um, rubbish <laughs> I've got to give it some positives the packaging is quite sturdy I actually quite like the packaging you get um, a decent sized mirror try not to blind you a decent sized mirror here <clears throat> and you can see majority of the colours um, for some reason it just well not for some reason for the fact they've got a mirror there but it does cut off the bottom row so when you're looking at it close you can't actually see all the colours that you're getting and um, as usual with e.l.f. there's no labelling on it at all I just know it's the Everyday Basics palette because I bought it this year and um, so I can remember what it's called now when you swatch these colours oh sorry one more thing on the packaging I have quite short nails but if I had longer nails I don't think I'd be able to get on with this because you have to really jam your nail in underneath the plastic, pl plastic in order to get it open. You can't just get it open easily by pulling, um, you really do have to jam it in. Um, so that's a positive for some people because as you can hear it clicks really well and so it's unlikely to come open by accident when you're travelling and things but if I had longer nails or when I, I can't use this palette if I've painted my nails within say four to six hours if you know the enamel's still soft because it's just it would just leave a, a line dent in it to try and get in it um the shadows to look at really it's my own fault because you know you can see on the website and um, let me just move this down for you you can see what you are um buying so I, I thought i would be getting a lot of neutrals and that's what i've got but i didn't realize how predominantly dark this palette is there's a lot of dark colors it's really hard to get different uh, different types of looks with it without incorporating other shadows because most of the shadows in here are just dark I mean this entire row from there here, here to here for example these I mean they're practically identical when you put them on I mean to look at this one looks like it's got some sort of gold flecks in it but then so does that one I mean those two are actually identical in my opinion one's just slightly more pigmented uh, than the other um, they just when I swatch them like that you think wow that's really good and um, actually when I got it I wasn't too unhappy with that when I swatched it in the pigmentation but then when you put it on your eyes and you go to blend it just blends away to nothing and and no matter how careful you are it just ends up looking like a muddy sort of mess so um, I just really dis dislike it um, I've not thrown it away purely for the fact that I might need some of the silvers in an emergency um, and uh, I did manage to get one look I quite liked out of it using the cranberry section and I might do a tutorial on, on that um, but yeah, I mean, no, I definitely wouldn't repurchase it. No, I definitely wouldn't repurchase any any more um, of the different varieties you can get. And um, I mean, some of them look really nice, the chunkier glitter ones, and um, they do go on quite nice. But they, I mean, they don't even with a primer, even with a really higher end primer. Like, um, I mean, I've tried it with uh, Too Faced Shadow Insurance that I got free with my chocolate bar palette and um they still they just after a few hours they're just gone i mean i've got it on today and as i was just putting it on it just every time i try and do my makeup with this palette i stop enjoying doing my makeup and then i think well what's what's the point in that usually when i do my makeup it's so that i can enjoy it and i do enjoy the process and 
um, with with this it, it kind of takes away from that um, I tried a lot with these two blue ones and I just I kept going back and back and packing it on and packing it on and packing it on and nothing was happening they're just not very good um, and when I go and try to use this palette as soon as I start using it I regret it and then um, wished I hadn't started hadn't picked it up at all so um, I'm going to avoid using it, I'm just going to try and get as much out as I can out of that cranberry look and save, save it for emergencies but I mean I don't often feel so negatively about something that I really would consider throwing it away but I'm, I'm actually this close to throwing this away just because it irritates me so much and I don't want to be tempted to keep picking it up and it ruining my makeup experience so not happy with, with that and I'm not um, a sort of uh, makeup snob if you've watched my other videos I'm pretty much a drugstore girl I mean I do have some higher end bits and bobs and um, well they're probably more sort of middle end really than higher end but I am a drugstore girl and I, I, am, I do really like elf as well but this eyeshadow pad it is rubbish so um, I might do a brand an elf brand you uh, brand review video and in which case I'll mention because I, I got a few pigments sent to me recently from them loose pigments a matte pink and a matte black and I thought oh a bit excited to try those out so I'll give those a go but I've not uh, got high hopes for them because if they're anything like these shadows in here then they won't be very good. So um, any questions or comments please leave them in the description box and I'll endeavour to answer them and um, I hope this review was useful. Please don't forget to thumbs up if you like it and subscribe if you want to. See you soon, bye!